Hello and welcome back to Bonchu News. My name is Chris, I'm joined by Andron, and we'll be covering the news that we found interesting today. Burnout Paradise Remastered has officially been announced. Confirming previous rumors, EA released an announcement trailer that shows off the graphical updates to an already beautiful game. The game will support 4K resolution and 60 frames per second on the Xbox One X and PS4 Pro. Burnout Paradise Remastered will also include all eight pieces of DLC released for the game as well. While a PC version was listed as coming soon, the PS4 and Xbox One versions will release on March 16th, with EA Access members getting 10 hours of unrestricted gameplay early through the first trial program on March 9th. Burnout Paradise Remastered did briefly garner some controversy after the PSN listing for the game listed in-game purchases. However, EA Global Community Engagement Manager Ben Walk was quick to take to Twitter to clarify the situation, calling the listing an error and confirming that the game would contain no microtransactions or any kind of additional paid content. I'm glad to see that rumor get shut down quickly, as I was a huge fan of Burnout Paradise and would have hated to have to skip the remaster because of loot crates or microtransactions. If you're a fan of Burnout or arcade racers in general and didn't play it when it first released, you owe it to yourself to experience Burnout Paradise, and this remaster looks like a great way to do so. The Hollywood Reporter has confirmed work on a sonic motion picture that is expected to release November 15th, 2019. Following the announcement of Nintendo's re-entry into the film industry with their upcoming Mario movie, it appears Sega is stepping up their game as the blue blur has added a fair amount of talent to this project. As of right now, The Hollywood Reporter revealed the director of Deadpool, Tim Miller, as the executive producer. The script is being handled by Pat Casey and Josh Miller, who also wrote Golandi Insatiable, and it will be directed by newcomer Jeff Fowler. Fowler did direct an animated short, Go For Broke, which was also produced by Miller, so the team may prove a great match to capture the essence of Sonic. As of right now, the movie is planned to be a combination of live action and CGI similar to the Smurfs movie adaptations, which I think is a perfect fit for The Hedgehog. Ubisoft released a free update yesterday for all players of Assassin's Creed Origins intended to teach students about Egypt in an engaging way. The educational tool named Discovery Tour by Assassin's Creed turns the game into a living, breathing museum where players can walk around at their leisure without threat of enemy attack. Currently, the new mode includes 25 different avatars for students to take control of, as well as 75 interactive tours that give you the history behind key aspects of the world as you explore through it. Assassin's Creed has always gone through painstakingly long lengths to faithfully recreate every inch of worlds long past, so turning that hard work into a teaching tool just feels right. If you're interested in checking out the interactive tour for yourself, the free update is available now for owners of Assassin's Creed Origins, or it can be purchased as a standalone teaching tool on PC for $19.99. New content for PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds is being delayed in order to combat cheaters. The announcement comes from the game's Steam page, where the team explains that major new features and updates are being delayed so they can focus more on anti-cheating efforts. Cheating has slowly become a bigger and bigger problem in Battlegrounds, with the rise of cheating at higher skill levels becoming especially noticeable. The rise in cheaters is also one of the possible reasons for the declining active player base, so it makes sense that they would try to focus their efforts on cleaning up that aspect of the game. While this means no solid dates for for upcoming content updates. The team did tease some new updates coming this year, including a new matchmaking system that takes players' ping into account, as well as a new map planned for release in the first half of this year. Hopefully they can get the cheaters under control, as I'd love to see more significant content updates come to Battlegrounds. Well, that's all the news that we found interesting today. Let us know what you thought about it or what we missed down in the comments below, and we'll see you next time.